marvelous Marvin Hagler had established himself as boxing's number one superstar. Both boxers kept their pre-fight promise that this would be a war. Round one. Hagler, right off the bat, attempting to get inside. He'd love to be able to pin Hearns on the ropes if he can. A more aggressive start by Hagler. Look at him, right for the body. Marvin Hagler only wants the body, and he bangs Marvin. Oh, Hearns may have hit him with a right hand. Hurt hurt him on the right. Hearns hits him with an uppercut. He's hurt. He's hurt. Hagler is stunned. Hearns got inside. Hit him with a right uppercut. Marvin ties him up. Marvin Hagler is still hurt. So it was Hagler coming out like a bullet. A good left by Hagler. But Hearns didn't flinch. Marvin going for the body. Wild first round. Wow, what a shot. And it was Hagler who initiated it, not Thomas Hearns. And a left by Hagler. Hagler. Hearns comes back. Another right. That one stunned Hearns. What a first minute of the fight. Tommy Hearns has been able to drop that right hand in, and it has hurt Hagler, a surprise to many people. Another right hand from Hearns. Hearns moving. Hagler still pursuing, comes in with a right. Missing with a left hook. Here's where I believe Hagler should turn to righty. He could block that right hand easier, and he would land his own left hook. Hearns with a devastating punch. Swelling near Hagler's left eye again. Tommy trying to come inside the hands of oh, Hagler. Low blow by Hearns. Hagler's still looking for the body. But A right gets... by Hagler. Good right got in. He has Hearns where he'd love to keep him on the ropes, but Tommy comes off oh. easily. Another good right by Hearns. Hagler is now shaking those right hands off, though, Al. He was stung a little early, and he's normally a slow starter. He's also bleeding. Hagler is cut. Hagler is cut. Bridge of the nose. Hagler hitting him low. He is banging the body well. He is taking shots to the head. He blocks that right. Hearns tries to come in with the uppercut, and Hagler ties him up with a minute to go in a wild first round. but Hearns trying to box his way out. Half a minute to go in round one. This How far can this one go? That's this, is where Hagler, his pace. this is where Hagler wants him, but Hearns counter punching off those ropes fairly effectively. Oh, tremendous first round. Hagler pinning into the rope, working on him, but Hearns uppercutting again. Hagler bloody. A tremendous sensational first round as Hearns gets hurt. Hearns got stunned. Hagler was stunned early in the round. Great first round. Wow. Incredible. Perhaps one of the best in middleweight history. That was an entire fight in compass in three minutes. Keep boxing. 
punching Tommy from his corner, and that is looks like what he's going to try and do in this fight. Turn. Off balance, off balance, just Butler now, stepped on, not Hagler, close to a knockdown. Excuse me, Al, Hagler turns righty. I think this could be a key moment in this fight. For the first time, Hagler switching, gets in with a left hand. This round sort of the way people anticipated the first round yes. might go. Another right hand, stuns Hearns. The crowd, of course, emphatic over every punch that's thrown. Hagler, despite that weak disadvantage, has been able to get into Hearns more so than I think most people expected. For one simple reason, good left hook by Hagler. He took the best Hearns could offer, and he did come in. He's, he's getting through that right hand, even though he's getting hit with it. Halfway through round two. Hagler has fought most of this round as a righty. Now he switches southpaw and lands. Not as effective as a righty as I thought, but now it's a southpaw. The jab lands well. That right jab. Hagler coming in with a left. Richard Steele saying, punch your way out, punch your way out. A key element now is Hagler is working when he's on the inside. He's not just holding. He is working the body of Tommy Hearns. Boy, Hearns, Hearns looks awkward, and his legs look like they're not there. A little rubbery here in round two. Tommy, though, fluid and moving. Trying to get inside again. The cut opens up over Hagler. Forehead, and the blood begins to trickle down. Hagler working inside now up top. Half a minute to go in round two. Oh, what a left! Hearns training with him. Hagler comes back to the right or left, and another right. He has Hearns in trouble on the ropes. Tommy trying to punch his way off the ropes. Hagler wants to keep him there. Goes to the body. Hagler throws low blows. Marvin Hagler wants to turn this into an alley war, and he's done it. Another low blow. Richard Steele may take points away soon, but will it matter? Second round coming to an end. Hagler bloody but very much unbound. End of round two. Keep your hands up low. When you finish up with the shot, move off from one side or the other, okay? We're not boxing the being out here. Try to work on letting the miss with the left and going over here and then coming back to the right. You got to cut a band. Cut up this box them. Stay away box them. Get your second man to relax like you have to hit it Colin Jones. Just think, Cal. This boxer, when you get through with your shot, move off to one side or the other. You're getting hit on tail end punches. You understand? Know you can hear Manny Stewart talking to Hearn. They work on the cut of Hagler. And the Petronelli's good cut men. Goody and Pat have done excellent job on the cuts of Hagler. What a shock that that man initiated this war right from the beginning. And you know what? I thought he would do well as a righty. He has done better as a southpaw, and he may stay at that. Again, Stewart telling Hearns to box. As you say, though, Hagler turning it into a street fight. Well, he turns righty. He wants it to be a street fight. Listen, Marvin Hagler has been rough inside. He's thrown some low blows. He has thrown some elbows. Don't push, don't push. But you know what? Now the right is getting there, but it's not hurting Hagler. We've got our answer, I think, to some extent. Tommy has been, has been hard-pressed to hurt him with that right. Stunned him early, but not in the last round or two. Very early. Adam Stun has him cut. But it was Hagler doing the damage in round two. And now just as we thought might happen. Tommy Hearns was hurt early, so he is boxing. Now, he has good boxing skills. He did this against Sugar Ray. Can Hagler get to him in this posture? Some people thought, as he go again on, becomes on. off balance, some thought that if, if Hearns stayed outside and stayed on his bicycle, it would become a dull fight with Marvin chasing him. But Marvin has been able to corner him, and when Marvin gets him in the corner, he is roughhousing him well. Again, Hagler is all bloodied. Time is called by Richard Steele to send Hagler over to the ring doctor. He's calling the ring doctor in. The last thing in the world Hagler wants is the fight to be stopped. The doctor looks at it. Back comes Hagler with a wild left hand. It has to be impeding his vision with the right eye. You never know it, though. Tremendous right. Hearns appears rubbery. He well, appeared that way in the second round. You know, Richard Steele is breaking these fighters very quickly. That's uncharacteristic of him. It's hurting Hagler because he wants to work inside. Carnes is smiling, but he's taking shots. Another right hand. Hearns turns his back, takes another right. Hearns in deep 
trouble again. Turns this down. Turns this down in the third round. And on his back. And he's not going to beat the count. I don't believe. Tommy Hearns tries to get up. And he. They've got to stop this fight. Does he get up? He his just doesn't thinking. know. He can't continue. It's Hagler full of blood. Blood no doubt impeding his vision. Stopping under the third round after Hearns almost ended it on a first round knockout. It didn't go very far, but it was a beauty. And Tommy Hearns predicted a knockout in the third. Instead, it is Marvin Hagler, and we certainly hope Tommy Hearns will be all right. He is still wobbly. What a shot. Instead of Hearns initiating wild early action, it is this man. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. So close to being knocked out in the first round. Withstood the barrage. You'd have